Uh, my name's Noel. Is it okay if I take your vote today? I'm a student at BCC. Yeah, of course. Okay. Can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? Yeah. Sean O'Malley. 1030-71. Okay. And do you have any allergies to latex? No. All right. And have you had anything to eat or drink today? No, I fasted. Okay. All right, this time she's gonna put the tourniquet on. Once she puts it on, she's gonna go ahead and palpate and make a selection of what she's gonna draw. She took the tourniquet off within one minute of being on. Next, she's gonna go ahead and clean the site with a prep pad and allow it to dry. 70% isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. Cleaning it in circular motion. While it's drying, the phlebotomist is going to go ahead and get her equipment ready. Yeah, How long does it have up. to dry for? At least two minutes. Three. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, I'm way off. Okay, now that she has all her equipment ready, the phlebotomy student's gonna go ahead and reapply the tourniquet. Position my arm. She's gonna go ahead and re remove the safety cap. And she's gonna, when she inserts it, it'll be bevel up. She's going to insert the tubes using the phalanges once blood flow is established. She removes the tourniquet. Key on this tube. She's going to pull out using the phalanges to, and then she's going to mix her tube immediately and make before sure she places it down. Make sure it's filled. She's going to go ahead and use the next tube in the order of draw using the phalanges again to insert it. Once that tube is full, she's gonna pull it out, mix in that one also, before she puts it down. Now she's gonna get her two by two ready, and as she pulls out, she'll immediately use a safety cap and apply pressure. It's important to remember too, you know, when it's not a fellow phlebotomy student in the chair, that you will have to hold pressure for a good period of time and then if the patient is competent you can ask them to hold it but you have to make sure that they know how hard to press mm -hmm. other than that it can result in a hematoma, hematoma. formation or or bruising okay so what goes on the tubes noel i'm going to put the patient's name date of birth their id number the patient id number my initials and the date and the time and where do you deliver them to? So this light blue cap one is going to go to COAG, and this gold top is going to go to Chemistry Department. Excellent. Good job. Now, I'm just going to bandage this guy up. Do you have any ones with like Scooby-Doo or like little cartoon? No Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay. All right. Leave the pad on there. 